Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more information about living in Portugal and life traveling in and around Europe and European travel news. If you're going to Valencia, Spain, you're most likely going there for the beaches, the history in the old town, obviously some Valencia oranges, you're going to have some of those if you're there. Something that might be a little out of the way and it won't necessarily be one of the top attractions that you may want to see lies about 40 minutes north of the city. And I really think that you should do it. It's something out of the way. It only takes a few hours if you're doing a tour or a couple hours if you have a car. First things first, I'm going to put a link in the description to the tour that we did. So you can look in the description box and find information if you want to do this tour as well. But just north of Valencia are these cool coves of St. Joseph, as it's called. And there are these caves and rock formations with water, with stalactites. And it's got a great, if you love geology or just love taking very unique photos, this is a cool place to do it. Now, I will say a couple of things. If you're claustrophobic, this may not be a trip or a, a tour for you because you're in a small boat with uh, 14 people per boat. Oftentimes, you have to lean forward or hunch forward to get through some of the formations to get into more of the open areas. Secondly, as I just mentioned, it's a photo spot. Well, there's only a few places on the tour where they allow you to take photos or a video, as you'll see in my video here but i would say this is so cool something that's very different it's off the beaten path if you will from what many people do when they go to valencia so this is three kilometers long the the, the coves now they're much longer some have still yet to be explored but as far as the tour version of that you've got a blue zone area which is about 800 meters of boat tour. And then you've got 255 meters of walking. So you get on the boat, you tool around, the captain gives you some of the information about the history and the discovery of these caves. And then you get out, you walk for a little while, probably about 10 minutes, to take a look at more rock formations and more stalactites and then you pick up the boat again and then when you do that you end up with a light show uh, there's a part of the cave where you can take photos and videos and they play uh, kind of some music with some lights against the rocks it's fantastic it's very cool so for something that only takes about 40 minutes it's a quick uh, excursion if you will I would highly recommend doing something like this. It's out of the way. It's something unique. When you tell your friends that you've been to Valencia, they're going to say, well, did you have oranges? Did you go to the old town? Did you hit the beaches? Did you go to some of the cathedrals? And those are all check, check, check. But you might be able to tell them, hey, we checked out something that not everybody goes to see. And those are the coves of St. Joseph. So as you are doing the tour, again, keep in mind Photography is limited. I would also say for those of you, do not take a backpack. Leave it on the bus, leave it in your car, put it in your trunk if you want to make sure that it's safe because you'll be asked to put the backpack in front of you. If you have a large purse as well, you'll need to put that in your lap because there isn't room. As you see from the videos and photos, these are very small boats and there isn't a lot of room to navigate. So. As you are looking to do this, please, if you've done it before, leave a comment in the comment section. If it's something that might interest you and you might add to your itinerary for Valencia, please put that comment in too, because I'm curious if some of the places that we go to are, yeah, we've been there, we've done that, we we're not going to do it again. Or if there are places where you're going, oh, that's a new place, I might consider going there, I hadn't thought about that. That feedback in the comment section is very helpful to us as we kind of explore Europe and plan more travel throughout this year and the coming years. As always, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Again, please subscribe for more information and to get notifications, hit the notification button. That way you'll get all of the news feeds uh, that I have. 
Thank you as always and enjoy your travels.